All right, today we're going to talk about solving multi-step equations. In the, in the first video, we looked at one-step equations, and there was one operation that you saw. In this case, when we look at multi-step equations, there are two or more operations or steps needed to find your missing variable. Most likely, it's going to be a combination of adding and multiplying, or adding and dividing, or subtracting and multiplying. Um, but there's at least two operations there. Okay, uh, and the important thing you need to do is multiply or divide last. And there's one case where that doesn't happen, I'll show you, but think about multiplying or dividing last when you solve these multi-step equations. So we're going to look at a few to solve. All right, our first equation is so we're going to solve 1 third x plus 6 equals negative 8. So there's two operations I see. I see the multiplication here with the 1 third and the x. And I also see adding 6. So with my advice, I'm going to multiply or divide last. So I look at my operation, uh, and I know it's addition, so I have to subtract 6 from both sides um, first. So that's what I do. I go ahead and I subtract 6, and I'm left with 1 third x equals negative 14. Okay, so now I have this operation of multiplication. To undo multiplication, um, you can divide by 1 third. Dividing by 1 third is the same as multiplying by 3, so I chose to multiply each side by 3, which will eliminate the denominator here and leave me with just x, and negative 14 times 3 is negative 42. So my solution is x equals negative 42. And that's just our first basic two-step equation, multi-step, two operations. Okay. All right, so in the next example, we're going to solve 7x minus 3x minus 8 equals 24. So the first thing, I'm going to redo, or rewrite my equation down here. And then I notice I have two terms with x's in it. So step number one is to combine like terms. So I'm going to add the 7x, and I'm going to take the 7x, and I'm going to subtract off 3x's, which gives me 4x's. Everything else comes down. So my new equation is 4x minus 8 equals 24. Okay, so this is really a two-step equation because you have two operations, multiplication and you have subtraction. So again, I'm going to look at multiplication and division last. So I look, I have subtracting 8. Well, to undo subtraction, I add 8 to each side, and that's exactly what I do. These cancel. You're left with 4x equals 32. Now, mental math would say 4 times what number is 32? It's 8. Algebraically, we would say, well, how do we undo multiplying 4? You divide each side by 4. Dividing each side by 4 leaves me with x equals 8, and I have solved that equation. To check if my answer is correct, I could go back up and plug 8 in for each x, or I could start here on this two-step equation. 4 times 8 is 32. 32 minus 8 is 24, so my answer would be correct. Okay, so here's another multi-step equation that is actually going to use one of our properties, um, the distributive property. We're going to solve 5x plus 3 times the quantity x plus 4 equals 28. So there's a lot going on. First step is always distribute. Get rid of that parentheses. So the 3 is going to be distributed to the x and to the 4, which gives me 3x plus 12 here in red. Every other term is going to come along for the ride. So we have 5x plus 3x plus 12 equals 28. And like in the last example, we're going to combine like terms now. I have 5x's and I have 3 more x's. That gives me 8x's. So I combine like terms. The 12 comes down. The 28 comes down. And now I again have a two-step equation where I'm going to undo the addition of 12 by subtracting 12 from both sides. So I subtract 12 from both sides. I have 8x equals 16. Mental math would tell you that 8 times 2 is 16. So your answer is 2. But also, to, if you wanted to do it algebraically, undoing multiplication, you divide each side by 8, and you get x equals 2. In our last two examples here, um, this example is still similar to the previous one, but I wanted to, to give you an example. We have an operation of subtraction. 
Okay, so be careful here with that negative sign. If I change this to a negative, uh, you know, adding negative 3, we want to watch out. But you really got to make sure you look out for the subtraction. So we're going to distribute again first. So pretending subtracting 3, pretending this is a negative number, we're going to distribute negative 3 to both terms, and you get minus 3x, and a negative and a negative make positive 6. Okay? Every other term comes along for the ride. The 4x comes down. The 21 comes down. And now again, look, you have like terms, 4x minus 3x. So we're going to combine those like terms, and it actually gives us x here. The 6 comes down, the 21 comes down. I haven't done anything with those. Now, more mental math. What number plus 6 is 21? The answer is 15, and you can leave it like that, or algebraically you subtract 6 from both sides. But if you can do mental math, go ahead and do that. That's fine. You don't have to show all your steps here. So that's how we distribute with the negative, okay? Just be very careful when you see that subtraction. It's going to change the sign here and when you have that minus 2. So, three, you know, minus 3 times minus 2 is 6. So just be aware of that. Last example um, goes back to the first slide when I say always multiply or divide last. Now, we're going to solve 66 equals negative 6 fifths times this quantity x plus 3. Now, in this case, I'm not going to distribute as I did in the other two examples because the number out front is a fraction, and it's not going to simplify very easy. Okay, It's going to give us a decimal. So what I can do is multiply each side by the reciprocal of negative 6 fifths, which is negative 5 6, and I've done that here. Multiply each side by the reciprocal. Now these two numbers will become 1, so that quantity x plus 3 comes down, and negative 5, 6 of 66 is negative 55. Okay, 6 goes into itself once, 6 goes into 66 11 times, 11 times negative 5 is negative 55. That's where that comes in. Again, x plus 3 equals negative 55, subtract 3 from both sides, and you're left with x equals negative 58. So these are multi-step equations. Just to review, you have more than one operation here. It's got to be at least two. Most of the time you're going to add or subtract last, except for maybe if you distribute here and there's no other term. Uh, like we did in this last example, we got rid of the fraction first because it's not beneficial to distribute too many fractions. All right, we'll see you for the next video. Thanks.